What's up you guys? So back for another video. Today I am at the Englishman River, kind of just outside of Parksville. We got a secret little spot that I found. It's a little bit of a hike to get down there, not much, but you gotta climb down this kind of shitty little cliff. So that can be kind of trapped. So I think I'm only gonna take one rod down today and I'm only fishing for a few hours. I'm really, really hoping that I can get into some trout and we'll see what's in there. Last time I was here, I hooked a fish in the pool down at the bottom, but I didn't land it. I want that fish today. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm all dressed up, heading down to the river now. Got my TFO, got some bear spray cause I am in the forest. And uh, there's nobody else around really. Like I am kind of close to people, but I haven't ever really seen anybody come down this way. And just down there is the river. And it is a, it's a nice little river actually. It's, well I shouldn't say little, it gets pretty raging in the winter time. So soon here, we're into the first day of October tomorrow. Today is September 30th. I was lucky enough to get the day off work for uh, Truth and Reconciliation Day. It's a new holiday in Canada. So anyhow, I'm heading down to the river to this spot. But I just want to show you guys like, so this hill here, I had a funny experience the last time I was here. Never a video was made because <laughs> I hooked a fish, didn't actually land a fish. But um, essentially what happened is I got all the way down this hill. And when I get to the bottom, you'll see why this was a hassle. But I got down to the bottom, set myself all up. I'm going through my gear. I'm ready to start fishing. And where's my fishing rod? Oh no, back up at the truck. So guess what I do? I leave my backpack down there, which has my keys in it. And I hike back up to the truck. Well, since my keys were in my backpack on the fucking beach down at the bottom, I had to walk all the way back down, climb down this shitty little rope, get my keys, walk all the way back up to the truck, and walk all the way back down. Now, all of this happened at like six o'clock in the morning. So, needless to say, I wasn't very happy. That was a frustrating day. And then, of course, I do hook into a fish, and that fish got away, so I never made a video out of it. So I'm hoping today, with the story I've just told you, that I can make a video. Now, I have a had a piece of pine needle sticking off my hat. So I've just made it to the river and I can see fish, lots of fish. There are pinks in here, look at this. See them all down there, moving around? I hope that picks up on the video, but uh, there's a couple runs, like that whole pool is full, which means this pool, which is the one I want to fish, where I got that trout, that'll also be full. So anyway, I'm hoping not to hook into any of those pinks because even looking at them right now, I can tell that they are gross. They're zombie fish and I don't want zombie fish. Now, the likelihood that I'm going to catch zombie fish today, probably pretty good. They tend to bite regardless of what you have. Like uh, when we were up at the Campbell, I was using a little nymph and trying to avoid them, I was fishing for trout, but they will still take it. So these fish though have probably been in here for a while and they're looking pretty beat up. Maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be some kind of green ones. Maybe there'll be some coho in here, but uh, it actually looks like I can see some spawning fish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on, I'm gonna put on an egg and I can see rotten fish just climbing around here. And I also just saw a fish rise over there. So anyway, I'm gonna get down here, but before I do, this is what I have to climb down. As you can see, probably, there's quite a drop, quite a drop. So see this rope? I gotta climb down there. And that's how I get to my fishing spot. So anyway, I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, here goes the sketchy part. In case you didn't notice, this is pretty sketchy. And that is part of the reason why. 
right there. Okay. But I'm down here now. Okay, it's time to get my line all going. And catch them finally. Finally, finally. On the stone fly. I've been trying for trout for a while now. And now I fucking have one. Now. This little guy is what I've been looking for this whole time. It looks like a rainbow. Resident rainbow. Come on. And where there's one, there's bound to be more. Boom, got him! <laughs> Yes, told you guys that there was goddamn trout in this river. This is a nice one too. It's a really nice fish. Fat, so the hook came out. This is a nice rainbow. So, one sec, buddy. One sec, I'm gonna let you go. Finally, you guys, I got that nice rainbow. So I've been looking for trout here for a while. I've seen nothing really but little fish. That one was a pretty fat female rainbow. And I got it in this little pool behind me. I was pitching into there and just letting it drift along, euro nymphing that fly. And it took the stone fly. So where there's one, there's more and it's still pretty early. I bet you we're not even looking at like 9 or 10 o'clock yet. So, well, maybe it might be 10 o'clock. I'm not sure. So I'm going to keep uh, keep moving upstream a little bit. I'll fish this cool for a couple minutes longer and then I'm going to see what else there is. So anyway, that was really cool. I'm glad that we got a fish. Finally, we've got some trout on this channel. So there you go. You know how I've been telling you about these rotten pinks? That's what they look like. Rotten, dude. Like gross, disgusting piece of crap there. And I don't want to catch those. But there's a nice little seam up here. So I'm going to pitch a few flies in there and see what's going on. And there's also a blue winged olive patch going on right now. So to me, that indicates that I should switch at some point here and try match the hatch now there's I can see a couple bends up this way so what I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna fish this probably try kind of euro nymphing like I caught that rainbow similar I might indicator fish too who knows and then I'm gonna make my way up there probably to around that bend and see what's around the corner because every time I come out fishing I want to do some exploring we'll see what happens dead one and a bunch of rotten zombie pinks. So, like we've said before, these ones are pretty bad. There's a rainbow right there with those guys. Right up at the top of this. So, what I'm gonna do is pitch this in right in front of them. Because I don't want any of those. They're gross. But I do want another rainbow and where the salmon are, the rainbows are hanging out there too. So what I should do though is move up my indicator so it's not way up like it was kind of when I was like Euro nymphing back there. So anyway, I don't know if you guys could see that fish. That was a nice looking little rainbow. So. I'm gonna pitch this in and see what happens. So I've got another fish on. I don't know what it is. I think it's a pink. It is a dumb pink. I think. Yeah, it is a dumb pink. So, here we go. 
This one's not bad. This one isn't even rotten. This girl is skinny. She'll be rotten too. Gross. I don't even like touching them when they're that, that way. That was really nasty. You can feel all of her bones and shit. Not, they're not healthy fish, right? They're in here to spawn and they're in here to die. So yeah, she was, she looked a lot like a rainbow, but wasn't a rainbow. All right, you guys. Well, I'm still trekking upstream a bit. I'm not gonna go like too crazy far now because I'm a good ways from the car. And where I'm headed right now, I'm headed upstream and it's, uh, it's a long way. But I haven't been this far up on this river. I haven't seen this area before. So what I'm trying to do is explore because in the winter time, like obviously we're in the fall now, the leaves are all changing color and stuff. But in the winter time, this section of water will be deeper and there might be more opportunity for pools. And if I search and I can find shelves, uh, that's where the fish will be holding in the winter time. So it's, uh, it's worth exploring so that you know where you're at too. You know, like if I, come and do this a couple times, I'll know where the bends are, where the pools are, and where that pool is where I found that nice rainbow. So walking upstream is the way to go. And like behind me here, there's some nice riffly water right up there, up this direction, up there where my rod tip is, that's where I'm heading. So anyway, also, you guys saw that pink, right? She was gross. And I'm glad that she was like, not as gross as the other ones, because I wouldn't even want to friggin' touch those ones, they're disgusting. They're all, all meats rotten off, like, and the crazy thing is people eat salmon out of the rivers when they're, not when they're rotten like that, but like that isn't an uncommon thing for people to do. Like, I'm pretty lucky, I fish with Tim in the boat, and what that means is we get pretty nice fish, nice chrome fish out of the ocean. In here, they start to deteriorate, they're, they lose uh, their scales, they lose a bunch of, like the effectiveness of the exterior of their body because they are trying to make it upstream and the spawning does a lot of damage to them, so I don't like catching them like that. And pinks are fun, right? Like now you guys have a video, that's two fish, but I'm a trout fisherman for the most part. I mean, I, I like catching salmon, but I grew up fishing for trout in Alberta and I love doing that. They're hard to catch. They're not easy fish and that makes it a challenge. And I actually think I see a fish right now. So I'm gonna get a line in the water and uh, maybe I'll get something, you'll see. I also just saw a mink. If you don't know what a mink is, it's a rodent that we have out here that's predatory. They've eaten some of our ducks at the farm and chickens and they're uh, quite predatory rodent, but kind of related to like a ferret, that sort of thing. So anyway, if I see it again, I'll try and capture some video for you. So let's see if I get more fish. And lots of blue winged olives. So I'm gonna try this guy on for size. Right ahead of me, I just watched a fish come up. So this is dry fly time and uh, there's a few of them in this little section. They've been chasing each other around. There's one in particular that's actively feeding. You can just see the riffles over there, up underneath that tree there. So I'm gonna try. I haven't caught, you know, surprisingly doing this my whole life, I haven't caught a lot of fish on the dry fly. I just find that I haven't had a lot of success that way. I lost a big brown in the, in the Bow River once, but anyway, that's what was hatching and right there you can see a bunch of them fucking around so let's give this a shot i don't know if you guys can see him kind of right in his wheelhouse right now oh we've looked at it this one's coming over to see it okay try that again Trying to do this without scaring them. But I want them to take this dry. Back up the treacherous cliff side we go. And then we got a little bit of a hike back to the truck. Or the vehicle. Uh, told you guys. Fucking sketchy. Alright. 
so that was pretty sweet found a lot of good stuff up that way down this way I haven't tried yet but I know that it goes to a place called Top Ridge all right I'm out leaving the river now so that's it for the video thank you guys for watching I'm tired I got up at six o'clock this morning to try and get out here and make a video and I'm glad I did because I have I've caught a couple fish now so that's all I could really ask for and you know it's probably about noon now I would think so I'll probably get home and have a nap and uh, rest up because there's a lot more fishing to come. It's just maybe not this weekend. I'm uh, gonna take a little bit of a break because I've been fishing every weekend for the last three weeks and it's time to chill because I think you guys have seen enough catching pink salmon. I think I've got a few videos of them up now. So I wanna try and get you guys checking out some coho and sorry, I'm climbing a big hill. Yeah, the cohos are entering the rivers now. Nice and chrome, fresh fish. That's what we want. And Tim has decided to keep the boat active all winter this year. So there will likely be some winter Chinook fishing on the boat, on the ocean. And there's also, whew, you can tell I'm out of shape. There's also winter run steelhead. So what that means is there's gonna be some winter fly fishing to be had for big, huge rainbow trout that go to the ocean and then come back. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, instead of breathing into your ear, I'm gonna let you go. See you guys next time. Later.